I'd like to thank you all who commented on my previous video about uh, my explosion uh, with this device a couple of nights ago. And uh, just wanted to bring back some observations to you and some things that, uh, that I've learned in this and uh, possible explanation of what happened uh, just in case you happen to run across a similar situation. Uh, first of all, uh, first observation I'd like you to, like to make here is uh, this unit has been turned off now for um, about 20 hours and um, when I uh, when I connected my voltmeter to the positive and negative leads I see there's still uh, point 131 uh, volts uh, coming out of the system <coughs> which I think is uh, significant there was probably quite a bit of voltage still in the cell <coughs> 10 minutes after I turned it off the other night uh, the second observation I'd like to show you here look at the uh, insulation on this particular connector see how it's all bulged out that wire was getting hot uh, none of the other wires were heating up uh, at all. They were just, uh, they were maybe just barely warm. But this one got hot. And uh, what I, um, what I'm discovering, well, the easiest way to to show you is just I'm going to, I'm going to put the power to this again. And uh, there it's it's starting to generate. Now I've set this up so that there's about uh, two and a quarter. Uh, volts uh, drop or two less than two and a quarter volt drop voltage drop between cells. Let me just switch my in there. Uh, as you can see here is a good example uh, 2.3 volts across plates. But look what happens when I put it on this one and the one right next to it if I can get on that right there look at that it's only a quarter of volt voltage drop between these two plates uh, this is not good that tells me that um, for some reason those plates are real close together and um, and I've got a problem there so what I'm going to have to do is drain this unit out. I'm going to turn it back off here now. I'm going to have to drain it out and um, take it apart down to this level and uh, I'll video for you when I get uh, to that point and show you what uh, what we've got in there. I really don't know for sure what's causing this. Maybe I've got a gasket that's uh, defective. Um, maybe I've got a plate that's warped. I'm not sure uh, what we've got there, but um, I suspect when we take it apart that we're going to see a place there where there's uh, some arcing has occurred. And if that uh, arcing occurred when I tipped the unit the other night and had that explosion, that would probably explain uh, how that happened. Uh, here's another observation I have here. Um, this is the bubbler that I was using and as you saw in the previous video it it blew this fitting clear out. It's it's not uh, screwed on or anything, it's just a pressure fitting. Um, but if you look at this, I mean it was sitting like this and with this upward sweep on here and and you know hydrogen is lighter than air so it's it's going to go to the highest point it possibly can so I think I, I was storing some hydrogen in here so as soon as I got a, a spark uh, I got an extra big bang and it was unfortunately pointed very close to my ear. Uh, so that's another observation. Another thing I thought that was a cool way to do that. It gives me a nice easy fill place and uh, the blowout all in one. Um, but I'm not so sure now if that was uh, the best idea. At least not pointed out towards my working area. So uh, that's just another observation. Well, I'm going to take this unit apart now and be back with you shortly. I've taken the end plate off and uh, I believe our problem is somewhere between the seventh and the eighth plate 
but I'll just take one at a time off here and we'll take a look and see how it all looks. There's one. Two. Three. the fifth plate looks like it's got a little hotter this is six here's seven I think our problem is right under here. Let's find out. It looks like it's uh, going to be hard to get this part. Oh, there we go. That's the seventh plate. Let's look at the other side of it. it looks okay. And this is the eighth plate. I'm not seeing a problem. But there must be. I wonder if we've got a... Maybe it's warped. Let's put the 7th and 8th plates together. seem to be okay. Okay, so folks, I'm still confused. Um, I was uh, thinking that I would see a burnt spot or something. Let's look at the uh, ninth plate. No, it's it's fine too. Well there it is. But what? I don't know. I thought I found the solution, but it doesn't look like it. Well I found one problem. The uh, the voltage across these two plates I showed you before was just point two. The reason is because the connector was shorting out between them. You may have seen the spark there when I pulled it up just slightly. Take a look now between the same two plates and there you'll see 2.2 which is about right. So that was causing me trouble. Uh, if that had something to do with the um, the uh, big explosion I had the other night, uh, I'm not sure because any arcing there was on the outside of the cell rather than on the inside. So I'm not sure that I've solved that mystery, but at least I figured out why uh, my wire was heating up there. Uh, another thing I discovered, uh, and I told you this amp meter here was getting stuck at 36 or so amps. Notice it's it's going on up now. Uh, all I had to do to fix that was to loosen these two screws. They were too tight and it was putting it on a bind. So just in case you get an amp meter like that and have a similar problem, there's your solution. Thanks for watching.